Hello guys, in this tutorial, we're going to be showing you how to use polar steps. So make sure to stick around to the end to get all the steps on how to use it. So we're going to open our polar steps app. And right here, you can see the main dashboard. If you slide down, you can see a beautiful view of the earth and you can also go around it. You could decide to zoom in if you want, and it gives a very nice feel as you're going through it. If we scroll this up, you can see at the bottom, you have me, guide, activity, notifications, and explore. Now, under me, you can see a summary of your trips. For example, you can see the countries you've been to, the followers, and those you are following. You could also have your profile icon here, and you could also see the profile name. And then you have a little message there. Still here, you have the option to add a trip. When you click on add a trip, you have the option to select three options. If you want to plan a future trip or if you're currently on a trip or if you want to add a past trip now of course polar steps is on mobile device and on pc however it is great to have it in the mobile version because this is basically an app that you're going to be using on the go now beside adding a trip you also have the travel stats when you tap on the travel stats it's going to show you the percentage of the world that you've seen and also the number of countries and then you have a nice map which will show you all the places you've been on the map. When you scroll down, you can see some other information about your activities. Of course, when we go back, we can see at the bottom here for guides. Now under guides, you can search for destinations. All of these destinations have different guides and there are a number of destinations that you can pick from to have guides. And when you go to activity, you can see who you're following and also track their activities. At the top right corner, you have the option to add. And when you tap on it, you have the option to go to following and search for someone. And then you also have under followers, those who might like to follow you. If you want to have followers, of course, you want to click on the share icon here. And this is basically going to give you a copy of your link. Now under notifications, this is where you're going to get all the notifications that are related to your trips. This could be your locations, a notification for a planned trip or information about a new follower or activity of your friends. And on the last tab, when you click on explore, you can see that here you can search for people and places. Now here you have these tiles where you can also slide it like a carousel and you have the editor's choices. Now under the editor's choices, you can see different locations where you might want to visit. And when you scroll down, you have collections. And when we tap on collections, you can see information about different places that others have been able to make. And here you can select these options and maybe get inspired to visit these places. Now, when you scroll down, you have some other options and some more collections. And then at the bottom here, you have inspiring travelers where you get to select them and also decide to follow them. So under explore, you get to explore places, people, and what people have been up to. All of these options contribute to an experience of using polar steps. And when we go back to me, we're going to see a trip that we've selected. Now, when we tap on the trip, this is titled a trip to Florida, and it's going to take you to the map of Florida. And here you can see this trip as a planned trip. You could of course plan your next step in that trip. When we tap on this trip, you could also select the number of nights you're going to stay or the number of nights you already have stayed. Now, of course, if you don't want this, you can simply look at the bottom where you have delete planned step. And then we can click on delete. And when we go back, you could add a new step again. So going back to the beginning, we can see all the features of polar steps and how to use them. Now at the top right corner, you have the gear icon. When you tap on the gear icon, this is going to take you to settings, settings for your profile, synchronization status, and some other privacy settings, such as who can follow you if you want anyone or only the ones you accept. If you're using miles or kilometers, you can tap on this and change it as you wish. You could also change the temperature, the map style from satellite to streets and back to satellites. Here also, you can see help and support and also decide to follow Polar Steps on social media handles. So this is how to use Polar Steps.